All right, guys, what's going on? Welcome back to Top Line. It's your boy, Chris, and uh, well, 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 ladies and gentlemen, I hope everybody's having a great, 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 <sighs> What's the day? Wednesday, hump day, man. Uh, <laughs> We're going to try to get over the hump today, man. Um, <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know if you guys, see, people talk about, you know, I put the video out about Michael Parsons saying we're a good team, but it, it, that, 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 that's part of the delusion. But I want, I, 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 if you didn't hear it, you, might, you probably already did. But if you did not hear this, I'm going to show you where I think the real problem with the Dallas Cowboys is at and why it's scary for the future because I don't think, I don't know if, if they can get better. Let, let, let me play this for you. We love to win. Oh yeah, that's where we come from. Just winning and, you know, so we're going to get it together for sure. 100%. Go through this. A, little, a, little, a little adversity. It'll be all right. A hundred percent. And CD's right. You know, they, they bring it up. You know, CD said they trying to embarrass us. Like, I think people really forget these past year, three years when we was 12 and five and we was blitzing teams. Blitzing. Yeah, putting, when, putting belt to everyone. Yeah. <laughs> stop, 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 stop. See, that right there, ladies and gentlemen, is the problem with the Dallas Cowboy. Did you hear him just say, they forget we were 12 and five. We were blitzing everyone. We were... <laughs> <laughs> What's what uh uh Trayvon did say? Yeah, we putting belts to everyone. Well, ladies and gentlemen, they got this fun. It's an amazing thing that they got today. It's called the internet. Ladies and gentlemen, let's look up what they meant by blitzing everyone. <laughs> oh my god. Now, let, let, let's go back because you know they were blitzing everyone. Let's look and see just who they was blitzing, ladies and gentlemen. Because you know they was blitzing everyone. <laughs> let's go back. Let's go back, shall we? Uh, no, 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 no. Let's, let, let's go back to, uh, let's, let's go back. See who they will blitz. We can just go far as, as last year. We ain't got to go that far back. Um, the Giants, they bl they blitz the Giants. All right. Um, the Jets, they blitz the Jets. Yeah, not the Aaron, get, and they bad anyway. They blitz the Jets. The Cardinals, oh, no, no, Cardinals beat the breaks off of them. The Patriots, they blitz the Patriots. The 49ers, Molly Wop there. Uh, the Chargers, they beat the Chargers by three. I don't know if you consider that blitzing or not. They beat the Rams. Okay, that, that, that was a solid win. I give them that. They lost to the Eagles, so that wasn't a blitz. They blitzed the Giants again. Uh, the Panthers, <laughs> they, been, they beat the, the Commanders. No, not this No, not this year, Commander. Last year, Commander. We're talking about last year. Um, the Bills came through and molly whopped them. Um, they lost to the Dolphins. <laughs> um... They escaped Detroit. Remember what happened that year? You call it what you want. They beat the Commanders again, and they get molly whopped by the damn Green Bay Packers in the playoffs. See, the problem I have, ladies and gentlemen, is this team is never going to get better if you got people with that, what I just what I just read to you, with people saying that's a blitz. We were blitzing everybody. Huh, man, they were blitzing everybody. Wow. Let me see who did they blitz. That blitz now, putting belts to. Um, 1920, you call that blitzing? No, you barely escape the lines. And many people don't talk to you should win that one. Uh, let's see. Oh, I'm looking for a solid win. Thir uh, 35 41 over the Seahawks. That's a win. That's a win. But do we consider that blitzing? No. Hmm. Let's see. A team that they blitz. Uh, the Rams. I don't know how much stock you put in the Rams. I don't. Uh, but they did make the playoffs. Giant Cowboys and got whooped too. Uh, they beat the Chargers. How much stock you put in that one? Um, other than that, there was no blitz to Jets and the Giants because as long as the Cowboys are able to get that kind of be off on pod, BS off on podcast and say we were blitzing everybody, we were blitzing everybody, they forget who was you blitzing, guys? And, and if you continue to believe that, that's why you'll, you'll have a guy like that. See, the problem is, now, I, I I don't know. I don't know if Jerry Jones even consult with the players or take their temperature. But according to Michael Parsons, him and JJ is pretty cool. So if if you if your star players is, is, is saying, hey, man, are we good? We good? We just got to, you know, the young going to learn. We got to get better. They're going to stay right here. This is this is cancerous. And I'm going to tell you why. Because you'll actually believe y'all was good them three of those years. Yeah, you, you, but look who you beat on. Every time a legit team, a legit Super Bowl contender, playoff deep, playoff run team got in front of you, they wop, 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 wop. Now, let's go back to something else Michael Parch said. I, I, I don't want to go too uh, far. I, I don't want to I don't want to make this video too long. Um, but it's a part of here where he say Joe Mixon got that off, um, got that off this year. 
but he forget what we did to the Cincinnati Bengals when they had that that heavy uh, that that heavy team, you know, and we held them to 14 points. First of all, you was wrong. You didn't hold them to 14 points, Mike. You held them to 17 points, and you scored 20. Now again, but he said they forget what we did to them. Held them to that, ladies and gentlemen. Let's look at let's look at this. At the time, this that was the, that was the second game of the season. The Cincinnati Bengals 0-2. Oh, the Cowboys were 1-1. One one. Um, Cooper Rush had a good game, a really good game for a backup quarterback. They won by three. Um, but you didn't – You and you're right. You, you happened to 17 points. They held you to 20 points. You didn't have Dak, whatever. But to, to make – and then to go on to say laugh, not cry later, why should he fear you? And then to say, ladies and gentlemen, everybody know who the real – who the best team in Texas is, who's the real best team in Texas. Yeah, they just showed you. The Houston Texans are the best team in Texas. Is it Ghosts? They came into your house. Molly Wapcho you in your house had more, more fans in your stadium than you did. Played with the fans, mopped you up, and then you say Joe Mason, he had a decent game. Uh, um, uh, Michael Parsons said he had 20 carries for 100 yards. I don't know. Um, I think the stats were a little bit worse than that. But as a matter of fact, hey, hey, because I hey, look, look, you bring it up on the podcast, we can check it. We can go back and check. Uh, let's see what those stats were. What was those stats against the Texans? How many did, did he had? Twenty carries, one hundred and nine yards, and three touchdowns. That's over five yards a carry. That's damn good, Micah. Like it, it's sometimes, sometimes eat a little humble pie, my man. Except that you're not good. Except that y'all just beat up on bad teams. I say if there's a Super Bowl for for the for the team that could the worst teams. Like, there's a super tote for the best of the worst team the Cowboys get it every year. Of all the bad teams, they the best. And that, that's what they've been for the last three years. They were the best of the bad teams. And, yeah, it was time when you thought, oh, this could be it. If, some, if a fan got to keep going, is this it? Is this it? They're probably not. The delusion right there is why the Cowboys, and it sounds so much like Jerry, making every possible excuse. Oh, well, you know, they ain't had a, you know, it went for that and that, blah, blah, blah. But everybody know who the real team in Texas is. We'll see. You know, who, laugh, not cry later. What? What? Let's see. Dallas, Houston. Let's run Let's run quarterback. Are you going to debate this? Houston. Running back. Houston. Wide receiving core. Houston. Offensive line. Houston. Um... Defense, Houston. Now, it, uh, Cowboys are better when they're fully healthy, a little bit better on defense um, overall. Um, but that's even if you – let's say we give them the defense. That's 4-1. to one. They're the better team, man. And as soon as we stop lying to ourselves, except where we at, we can send that sentiment through the organization and get up to, to old Jer, and then we can figure this thing out. But as long as we stand in front of camera, sit in front of microphones and lie to ourselves over and over and over and over and over, and we keep saying dumb sh- – like, we, well, we put belts to, uh, we put belts to them. I just read what you did. You ain't put belts to nobody. Nobody, sir. Stop, man. But as long as as long as long you're doing this type of stuff and you're saying this type of stuff, you're gonna, you, and you keep lying to yourself, you're going because if you keep lying to yourself, you're going to think you ain't got to get it. You ain't got that far to go as you actually do. You got a long ways to go, ladies and gentlemen. With that being said, guys, I got to get my butt back to work before my wife throws something down here at me. And um, until next time, man, you guys be great. <laughs>